Look at that. It looks like, what kind of animal is that? It's a little different. I think they put a little bit of sh more sugar in it. Uh, the mayonnaise also. But, but the ketchup in KFC is different. I think um, ketchup in KFC, it was in uh, Bola Terrakanu. It did, did taste different. Uh, this is the chili. I kind of like the idea of you know mixing chili with that. But, you know, um, this, this is pretty good. But again, McDonald's tastes the same all over the world. And again, personally, I love McDonald's. So, I grew up, my mother always took me to malls when I was growing up. I grew up in Istanbul, I was born in the US, but I grew up in Istanbul and we always had malls there. And she always took me to malls and McDonald's. She loves McDonald's herself. Uh, she had McDonald's, uh, she went to high school in the US as an exchange student. And then uh, that's where she discovered McDonald's and ever since she, she loves McDonald's like I do. Yeah, we're gonna, let me, let me finish it up, I didn't really want to get it out. Uh, I think a lot of people hate on McDonald's. It almost became like, like cool to hate McDonald's. I think a lot of things about McDonald's is overrated. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, I think this is totally fine. I mean, I don't want to turn into a McDonald's commercial, but these are, you know, uh, my personal opinions. I'm very happy right now actually to have this because I haven't had McDonald's for how long? Three weeks? Three weeks! People are gonna say, oh, come on, man. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, then that's the seat. That's the seat, yeah, sure. And one more thing here, show this. They don't usually hear here, up here, up here, show up here. So, up here, they don't usually put caps. You gotta ask for them. Um, it's just a common thing. Another thing I wanna talk about is they have chicken fries. Next time when we get a chance, I wanna order chicken uh, at McDonald's here. This is Malaysian McDonald's, and they have ch uh, fried chicken. Interesting, you know, we'll see and also KFC they have uh, rice You know, those are the things I haven't tried yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So Stay tuned Thanks. Let's eat Let's eat Look at that It looks like what kind of animal is that? It's not an animal. It's actually a toy It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is just great. Uh, when I was recording that toy animal, uh, I think she just kept walking and we just lost each other. And I'm trying to find Jackie now. All right, let me, how many stories does it? Okay, this is also another big mall. Uh, I gotta find her. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, we just found each other. I was recording that animal when he disappeared. Which animal? I was... The, the toy animal. I was right there because it's so strong. It's actually a toy. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I thought you just walked up. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take the free bus right now. And check out this logic. We gotta get on, we gotta get on. Alright, we're off the bus now. The headphones. We were listening to music. So, so this is going to be First Avenue Mall. I think it has the most stars on Google. So this is gonna be a mall episode. As we always do, I feel that uh, there's a beggar. I'm vlogging over here. This guy's begging. Um, so, yeah, this is gonna be a mall episode. Like everywhere we go, we want we like to discover the mall. And uh, let's see, let's see what's coming up. It's entering uh, First Avenue. 
entrance, I don't know, it might have uh, different answers. H&M, another one, uh, in terms of clothing, just like McDonald's and Burger King, H&M is like pretty much McDonald's of clothing. Oh my god, oh, what is that? So cute. Deals, 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 deals. Um, it, it is a Monday, 2 p.m. Obviously, it's kind of an awkward time to um, to shop and me walking around this aisle is probably a lot more awkward But at least I have her with me So it makes it less awkward and those are the prices by the way 60 rigots um, What is it? What are we looking at? Uh, Ten dollars? No, uh, fourteen dollars? Fifty percent off. They're always fifty percent off Yeah, this is cute. Look at that so your phone can be warm and cozy while you struggle putting it into your pocket. Okay, here's a tip from me. If you enjoy shopping, this is this is what my mother told me growing up. <laughs> so deeply, I was deeply touched. So this is what my mother told me, which is true, honestly. Um, every time you go to the mall or a shopping mall, just buy one item or just two items, even if you need like five or six. I mean, if it's a need, obviously, if it's a desire matter, always buy one item. So, and then just postpone it so it's fun. Otherwise, you end up buying a bunch of stuff and then um, that you don't need. I think that this applies to the females and even some guys, honestly. It um, applies to both, but not to It doesn't have, well, it, it applied to me many times, especially when I was 18, 19. Oh my gosh, I would just like buy everything, literally, and um, and it's it's not a it's not a good it's not smart consumption, really. Be a smart consumer. Always buy what you need, um, not what you desire. Let me put it that way. And one more thing, uh, just when you buy, don't buy cheap or too expensive. Don't be fooled by the brand names. Just buy good quality stuff that's gonna last. You. Uh, like I, just bought, I keep buying like you know, a pair of sunglasses. I bought. I used to buy my pair of sunglasses, and I lost them so many times. The really expensive ones, the Oakleys and stuff. And then I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna go really cheap because I'm either losing them. I stopped losing my stuff actually, but um, but if you buy it really cheap, that thing is just gonna break. I mean, last time I bought a pair, I was running around at Patronus Towers. It literally broke on my head. It just chipped just like that. And uh, you know, you don't want to keep it too cheap. You don't want to keep it too expensive either. Just buy it reasonable. Just keep it reasonable. Buy something that's gonna last you. Okay, tip number three. <laughs> I'm getting inspired about this for some reason. Uh, when you when you browse, let's say you're buying a T-shirt. All right. And uh, when you walk into the cabin, when you try it out, it should strike you. You should feel a lot of emotions about it. If, if it feels like, oh, it kind of looks nice, you know, don't. Don't just leave it, run. But if it really feels good, you know, you feel good about it, you really, really star struck you, you know, then you just go ahead and buy it. But again, just one item or two items and then head back. I can't turn it off again. So this is the thought that their Starbucks right there will probably end up there again. Um, so it, a lot of malls, not in whole Asia probably, but it's probably in whole Asia. Because in Thailand, this was the same story, in KL, in Kuching, uh, on the, the level, the ground level, this is always like that. And you find the cheapest stuff in the basement level. And then uh, the more you go up, the more expensive and pricey and, uh, you know, brand name stuff you run into. It's pretty much like a general Asian mall setup over here. Um, but again, this is, this is like, uh, you know, they have different type of malls. They have street malls also. We should probably do a street mall at some point Jackie too um, yeah so yeah those people are browsing shoes we're gonna go get some food that's the food hall 
and oh that's another perception it's a uh, very high how many floors are we looking at that okay one two three four five six level downs so back at it again what if you jump down there yeah you definitely die we had this conversation before we were discussing we were in Kuala Lumpur and discussing you know what would happen you know if you jumped onto you know that glass structure you know blah 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 something I always when I look down that's something I always think of you know it's just a I think that's it's a guy's mind what would you say right agreed yeah there's no chance of survival here and um, that's Japanese location and uh, we're walking into the food mall okay let's see if those girls are gonna react okay but they're gonna look at the camera you're gonna look at the camera you are going to look at the, you did not look at the camera oh my god okay all right oh okay it's smaller than I thought it's actually pretty small the food hall just walk into it um, I mean it's a Monday afternoon so not many people are here which I prefer not too loud either Thank you guys for watching. So this one was the first Avenue Mall in Penang. Georgetown, Penang is the state. Georgetown is the city. Now I know. Um, so in this next video, it's going to be the, the rest of the day. And again, it's going to be in the first Mall Avenue. First Mall Avenue. First Avenue. First Avenue Mall. So the mall is not on First Avenue. It's the First Avenue Mall is the name. So. In the next video, we are going to discover this concept Japanese stores, which I really personally like. It is a concept store. It's pretty much you can find anything from all types of different new, uh, very creative devices uh, to travel accessories to you name it, backpacks, you know, uh, clothing, everything. It's a Japanese concept store and uh, we're going to be visiting one tomorrow in the next video and i'll see you guys i really appreciate it please if you guys like the video like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time any questions comments just drop it down there i always get back to you guys thanks a lot again see you tomorrow take care bye bye is there a mirror in there you're looking at yourself no i'm just waiting because just bang on it just bang on no, it no i got it